to uh, go to the keyboard and do a little bit of uh, blues jazz uh, improvisation in A minor. For those of you that are new at this sort of thing, this should help you to kind of get a mindset as to how this kind of thing is done with the chords on the left hand and then with the lead on the right hand. Uh, the uh, chords we're going to use today are going to be an A minor 11, which is G, A, C, and D. Okay. To get that uh, A minor 11, we're going to use the thumb on D, first finger on C, third finger on A, and the fourth finger on G. So the chord is G, A, C, and D. Now to get our next chord, which is a D7 chord, we're simply going to take the fourth finger and move it down to F sharp, and then we've got a D7 chord. That's an A minor 11 and a D7. Real easy chord combination, okay? We want to do that over and over again, counting off one, two, three, four, a measure each. So we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We just want to kind of keep doing that and get used to it. So then it becomes second nature for us to play four beats on each chord over and over again. That's going to make it easy for us to put some lead in there when we're ready to put our lead in. Okay. Now that we've kind of got that going and we've got our chords on our left hand, we want to start working on the right hand and what we uh, intend to play with the right hand. Now, a lot of folks have trouble deciding which notes to play. Now, since we're using an um, A minor chord, which is an A minor 11, we certainly can use A minor, which would be A, C, and E. That would work. We want to try to use notes that are going to correspond with both chords that we're using. Okay, so we're going to use, uh, let's say we're going to talk about, let's talk about the scale a little, little bit. We're going to talk about uh, A natural minor, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Well, in this particular um, tune, the F sounds a little bit off. So to be sure we get the right notes, we're going to use an F sharp. Because that's going to agree with our second chord, which has an F sharp in it. We're going to use F sharp instead of the F. So we're, our, our scale is going to be A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and then back to A. That's an A Dorian scale. Don't get thrown by the name. That simply means that we're going to substitute F sharp for the F. Okay, we're not going to play the F. We're going to play F sharp, F sharp instead. So A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and A. That's A Dorian. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take three notes at a time to start our solo. A minor, and then A minor, and replace it with an F. So we're going to be playing A, C, and F sharp. Okay, for the second chord. So here we go. Just try this out. C E and then A C F like that. So we've got this. We can strike it any way we want to. It's going to come out right every time. throw any note in and be sure that it's going to work by just using the scale notes that we talked about. So I'm going to play it again and play A minor and play a D. Hear that?
play the whole entire scale. You should try this, it's easy. Now, it's a good idea to practice this until you can kind of throw some licks in at will or, or make up some licks of your own using the scale. Now, I can even put in some odd notes or, or some of the notes that are not in the, in the scale if, if we use uh, uh, the right note at the right time. We're going to use those uh, accidental notes as lead-in notes to the right note. We've just got to wind up on the notes that are in the scale at the right time to make them sound right. So here we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that F sharp and come down on an F, which we decided earlier that we're not going to use, and make it sound right. By just kind of passing, that's called a passing tone. By passing it and then winding up on the right note, we get a good sounding note. Here's another one, E flat. how we work in all those notes that are not supposed to work by simply passing by them as we go to a note that does work in the key so just, just like that now I'm going to do an A minor um, lick that you ought to learn it sounds real good when you're trying to improvise like this it goes like this what I did is A, G, E, went to E flat or D sharp and slid off of it into a D. It's C to A. So sounds great. Sometimes it's a good idea to just lay on the chord. Experiment. And listen to the piano. Your F sharp. Okay, now, I know that was fancy, but we can stick to some basic notes and get a nice solo. The notes don't have to be fast. Try this, see what you think. And that's blues jazz improvisation at the piano in A minor.